All right. This video is about applying stain. We're going to force dry this. This is the first coat of stain we've put on this new forearm. We're building for a special project done. Got a nice figure. It looks really good. But it's also wet. So what we're going to do is force dry it. To do that, you can get a portable heat source. I like it. A propane torch. It's as reliable as an electric heat gun, but you don't have to worry about blowing circuit breakers. What you do have to worry about is scorching the wood, so you want to stay off the surface of the wood. You want to let the, uh, the heat from the torch just evaporate that water. And you'll see how the wood is drying. It's changing tone. See? So when you get most of the water run out of it, you stop. It's pretty simple. All right, we've dried out this end of the stock. We haven't charred any of it. So now we're going to put it down. We're going to swap it. We're going to pick the other end up. We're going to repeat the process. Wave it off. Oh, you know, a good eight, nine inches from the surface of the wood. All we're looking to do is encourage the water to evaporate and leave. Now we'll get a secondary benefit from this because we're using a water-based wood dye. After we get the uh, water evaporated out, the drain will raise. And that means that the next coat of dye that goes on will go in much deeper into the wood than the first coat did. And this will give us a nice layer effect. See how the color is changing? So we go from that damp look to what is obviously dry wood. And then we let it air dry for the rest of the way. We'll do the same process on the butt stock because we're cheating. So once again, we just lay the torch over the wood. Don't let it rest anywhere too long. All we're looking to do is drive the water out, raise the grain. And as you can see, that lightens the look quite a bit, which is normally what will occur if you uh, just let it air dry. You can do it either way. I I've done it both ways. On this particular gun, I'm in a hurry. I want to get done. So I'm going to give it a boost to the propane. Really good contrast on the base. And then when we do another video after we put the second coat on, we'll air dry it again. Or we may let it dry overnight, but at that point in time, we'll be at the end of the process. Kind of But the electric uh, heat guns work just as well. They don't work quite as fast because they're nowhere near as hot. But you don't have to be as observant with them as you do with a torch to make sure you're not burning your, your uh, butt stuff. Or whatever piece of wood you're working on. You can do this with any kind of wood for any kind of application. I just like the fact that you can get an instant visual feedback on what you're trying out. That doesn't include making charcoal. See the steam coming off of it? Were you able to catch that? Mm. Maybe not. Anyway, we're about done with this process. And, uh, we'll bring you back later for coat number two, and then uh, I'm sure that I'll remember to do a video about putting on this coat. That's all for now.